Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us. If you are watching this video then you are one of the many awesome people who are taking out time to support us as we cycle 3000 kilometers in 13 days under the banner of Call Cyclothon to support meritorious students who are financially weak. We are extremely grateful for the love and encouragement that you guys have given us without which it wouldn't even be possible for us to consider taking on this beast of a ride. In order to make this journey entertaining and enriching for you as well, we intend to make this a data-centric exercise so that you can benefit from taking time out for our updates. The HEAL Institute will monitor our vitals, our blood pressure, our oxygen consumption, our fatigue levels, and we'll also be giving you constant data on the route, the elevation, the road quality, so that when you attempt this route or any part of it, you will be well prepared. So as you can see from the route, we'll be starting in Mumbai, and uh, our first stop is going to be at Khopoli, which is about 87 kilometers from uh, Mumbai. And then we'll stop at Lunawala, which is just about 100 kilometers, somewhere at this point uh, from Mumbai. And uh, we'll move on from there to Pune and stop for the first night at Sholapur, which is roughly about 415 kilometers. So the first day we'll be covering roughly somewhere around 415 kilometers towards this point, which you can see on the, on the video here. Now, as you can see over here from Mumbai when we leave, it's showing me a lot of tailwind right now till the outskirts of Mumbai, which seems to be fairly accurate. But what most cyclists have been experiencing around from uh, from Panuvel towards Khopoli, in fact towards the base of Borgad, is a lot of headwind. So I hope this wind continues from the Arabian Sea that we're getting, that we're seeing over here. And if this continues, we'll get some good tailwind till around uh, till Lonavla, in fact, yeah. And as you can see, there's, it, it seems like there's uh, a lot of this wind is going northwards after that. So this wind is going to get we'll be facing a lot of uh, crosswind as we proceed. You can see on the map over here, when once we reach Pune, it seems like uh, the wind is fairly stabilized in Pune. So it doesn't seem really windy over there. But once we take the journey from Pune towards Sholapur, it's a lot of crosswind. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be facing a little bit of difficulty in this stretch, which we are covering in the first day itself. Because we'll be doing, we'll be starting at 6 a.m. from Mumbai and we'll be stopping the next morning at 3 a.m in Sholapur, covering a distance of 415 kilometers on the first day. Uh, the second day, we'll be going towards Hyderabad. And as you can see, there's a, this, this is a constant, complete crosswind area. In fact, as we move towards Hyderabad, it, we, it looks like we'll be getting a lot of headwind over here. But we should be good. I mean, it's just 300 kilometers and we'll have rested. So we should be able to deal with this. The part that I'm worried about is once we go ahead of Hyderabad and we move towards, from Hyderabad, we move towards Anandpur. Uh, the next day is going to be one, one long segment. Uh, Hyderabad to Anandpur is roughly about 350 kilometers, and Anandpur to Bangalore is going to be about 250, 230 kilometers. Now, the problem is that Anandpur to Bangalore is a, an almost uphill ride. It's a, it's a constant gradient, fairly doable, but it's going to be complicated by a constant crosswind, which you can see it stretches all the way from Hyderabad. I think when we leave Hyderabad, we'll be getting a decent amount of tailwind which will be good for us, but as soon as we get out of Hyderabad and move towards Anandpur, it's a constant crosswind, and once we go from Anandpur towards Bangalore, which is a climb, and there's crosswind, so this is going to be a very challenging part, we will have to speed up quite a bit. Now, from Bangalore, we are we are still in two mines, we might probably go towards Mysore, or we'll go directly to Coimbatore, and then towards Kochi, uh, but I, I mean, we have been told that the road quality is good on Mysore, so we, instead of going from Bangalore to Coimbatore, We'll first go to Mysore and then go to Coimbatore and then to Kochi and then to Kozikore. So if you look at the, the wind over here, we'll get a lot of tailwind when we go towards Mysore. It's 160 kilometers of tailwind, so it's going to be a lovely route, a lovely ride for us. Uh, we have already covered over uh, 1400 kilometers at this point when we'll be leaving Bangalore. So it's going to be, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll really need this tailwind quite a lot. So I think every bit of this push is going to, going to be helpful for us. So we'll reach uh, Kozikode after that, and uh, yeah, so for we'll reach Kozikode over here, and we'll proceed towards Mangalore, and then Goa, and then Kolapur, and then towards back towards Mumbai. So if you take a look at this, there is, uh, uh, the ideal region for us to be cycling is not on the coastal route, but a little bit ahead of that. So we'll take a call on this when we get there, and uh, it looks like we won't get a lot of because these winds seem to be cancelling each other out. So we'll see how it is when once we reach there, and we'll take this journey onwards from here. And uh, once we cross Kapur, Kolapur, it looks like there's a decent amount of tailwind that we'll get here. So uh, I think it's only going to be a difficult route for us till Goa, 
uh, once we take the right turn, move towards Kolapur and then towards Pune, it seems to get a uh, it seems to get a lot easier after that. And uh, this this tailwind is going to be really really helpful for us when we are uh, dead and tired after having cycled nearly 3,000 kilometers at this point. So we'll be going towards Pune then, and from Pune we'll give uh, our friends in Bombay updates about when we'll be arriving. And we look forward to seeing you guys on March 31 back in Bombay. Thank you for joining us, and I'll keep giving you updates like this, which will be helpful for us because it will take our mind off cycling for some time. Hawa, Hawaii. Hawa, Hawaii.